Yo, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be doing a pretty quick tutorial on uh, how to make a respace. I'll go ahead and uh, preview it. Before we get started, I just want to say that I learned how to make this respace from Nerko, so all credit goes to him. He's a super talented artist and he has a uh, upcoming track that's like an absolute banger, so I definitely recommend for you to check him out. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started on how to make this free space. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, initialize this one here. And basically, depending on your octave, uh, you'll probably put it, you know, to what you feel is best. But I think for me, where, it, where it's at right now, I'm probably going to put it at minus two. Uh, and then minus one on this one, so up an octave, basically. Uh, we're going to set this one up to 16 unison. 16 unison detune probably can leave around here uh, you can do this to taste and basically where my octave is right now is at um, c2 so so depending where your notes are uh, your octaves can change and also you know which octave you want is also up to you too uh, and this one probably can do a bit more on the detune and then we're just basically just going to mix in the volume probably around there is probably going to be probably good And then what's really going to change the sound uh, is going to be the filter here. Don't forget to press the B. Uh, and then I'll just kind of show you which one is preferable. We're going to go with MG Low 24, and I'll just kind of show you the differences. And then uh, we're going to basically just bump the drive up. This is also too up to your taste, but uh, this definitely makes it sound pretty fat. And then again, you're welcome to play with these octaves. You can also do like one more up if that's like what you're looking for. Uh, for me personally, I just kind of like this low one. Sounds pretty mean. And then uh, we can also add some hyper dimension. Yeah, probably around there. Some distortion. there and then lastly this is also up to you if you want to make it sound a bit fatter you can also add a sub and there you go you have a pretty fattery space and that's gonna be it for this tutorial uh, thank you so much for watching if you did found it helpful or enjoyed watching it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet and also please hit the uh, bell notification symbol so you know when my next video goes live i post a lot more videos like this on music production and uh, we'll probably post some videos about, you know, uh, my own personal journey as an aspiring EDM artist. And it's kind of like, you know, the journey itself. I know how hard it can be on, uh, on this type of journey. So I definitely want to be able to share everything that I learned uh, in, in hopes to help other people. Uh, and also, uh, please also follow me on uh, social media as well. Uh, I post like shorter form uh, music production tips as well as, again, the uh, personal, uh, my own personal journey uh, in music on there as well. I'll leave all the links in the description below and also join the discord server um, I'm, I'm basically just trying to uh, create a community where we can all help each other grow so if that's something that you find interesting uh, feel free to join the discord uh, again all the links will be in the description below uh, that's gonna be it for the today thanks so much again for watching until next time much love peace out